हेलो वेलकम टू इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स फॉर मैनेजर्स कोर्स ऑन अनुज क्लासरूम दिस कोर्स वॉज विद वॉट यू कैन से वॉज मेड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एम एम पी सी एट ऑफ इग्नो सेमेस्टर टू पेपर सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी दी लास्ट यूनिट ऑफ दिस और द लास्ट वीडियो इन दिस एम एम पी सी एट प्ले लिस्ट एंड हियर वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एमर्जिंग ट्रेंड्स इन आई टी so by the end of this video uh, which marks the end of this course i hope you will get an overall idea about the uh, ed, uh, what you can say it systems how it is enhancing uh, you know the emerging trends enhancing electronics e-commerce blockchain technology cryptocurrency machine learning big data data analytics and things like that and um, by and also uh, i hope that you get a good idea about why we are learning about all these things Uh, in case by the end of this video also you have uh, doubts related to mpc 8 which are still not clarified do let me know in the comment section below i will be glad to help you out on it and do my best to clarify it so let's get started so what is ict ict is a term information Commun uh, integrated communication technology info or in is what we learned ict as in the first semester now or ict also stands for information and communication technology so we all know about it uh, because we are all using it on a day to day basis but what exactly is it if you if somebody asks us to define it it is the infrastructure as well as components which enable modern computing it is defined as a diverse set of technological tools and resources that are used to transmit store create or share as well as exchange information so coming to how it or inform these i information systems get used in consumer electronics we all know about it amazon echo apple tv android tv smart home uh, services smart switches all these things are uh, you know smart tvs they are all it and consumer electronics getting merged and that that we can see that more and more we have smart washing machines we have smart tvs and lot lots and lots of smart uh, devices coming up right and uh, when we talk about it in the e-commerce industry we all know that every business today necessarily will require active support of it tools especially internet for maintaining websites as well as for the unified communications e-commerce or electronic commerce is the trading of goods and services on the internet it is uh, the uh, it is kind of like the bustling city center or the brick and mortar shop which is translated into zeros and ones on the internet super highway you can think of it like that e-commerce so uh, another uh, buzzword that you will all be hearing is the blockchain blockchain technology which is based on the concept of distributed database so database we all know now what happens when this database is not in one server but rather distributed across the world that is what blockchain is all about it is a structure which stores transactional records of the public in several databases which are connected over the network of users and the transactional records are what is called blocks and these databases are known as the chain in the network which are connected together through peer to peer nodes typically the storage is referred to as a digital ledger every transaction in this ledger will be authorized by a digital signature of the owner which will authenticate the transaction and safeguard it from tampering and how it happens is that as we said right the every transaction it gets stored in multiple places so maybe a hacker might uh, you know uh, hack into one system and manipulate the transactions there but uh, there is no way for us to actually so far i guess not for the common man at least to identify all the places or all the copies that of that particular transaction stored everywhere throughout the world there is no way to know that therefore the hacker may be able to modify a few of those transaction copies but not all so what happens is that if a transactions copy seems to be different because of some modification from the other copies okay that indicates an illegal or a hacked copy right so what uh, the blockchain system does is that it simply replaces that modified hacked copy with a copy from any other database of the same transaction thereby nullifying the effects of hacking that is what this whole blockchain chain technology is actually all about okay it actually guarantees the safety of information that is contained in the digital ledger so in case you like the contents of anus classroom or if you like the contents of this video do check out our other videos if you haven't and if you like our content and would uh, like to support my cause of providing 
uh, uh, courses uh, which are easy to understand to ignore distance learning students uh, kindly support by sharing about us in uh, amongst your friend circle and spreading the word about our existence um, and help us and uh, kindly subscribe as well as hit the notification icon in case you are interested in receiving notifications about uh, new videos posted on our channel thank you so much so let's continue to cryptocurrency so the currency that is used in blockchain is what is called as this cryptocurrency it is a digital currency and it can unlike our paper money it can be exist in any form digitally or virtually it uses cryptography to the cryptography is another uh, what you can say a tool used for encryption and decryption and things like that to secure transactions from peer to peer without involving any bank or regulatory mechanism it is not in terms of physical money to be carried out for exchange and they are purely digital entries on an online database when you transfer in cryptocurrency then the transactions are recorded in a public ledger and this cryptocurrency it will be stored in digital wallets the first cryptocurrency which was founded in 2009 is the bitcoin and it also uh, it still remains the best known cryptocurrency even today so you might have also come across right about bitcoin invest in bitcoin invest in cryptocurrency and things like that it's uh, kind of like getting into a boom people are being made aware of it uh, but the thing is all these things actually take up a lot of computing power that is a hard truth lots and lots of power and resources and things like that because one single small however small or however big the data is gets stored in multiple copies multiple copies throughout the world and it gets interlinked and interconnected and things like that so it's 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 kind of intensive process intensive resource intensive coming to machine learning which we have been talking uh, often now and then about machine learning throughout this course so machine learning is actually a branch of artificial intelligence which deals with effectively automating the process of doing data analysis and allowing machines to adapt to new scenarios independently analyzing huge amounts of data available through internet and providing critical insights to the business owners pro and provide them with a larger picture which uh, with the help of which they can make informed decisions is actually done through machine learning the applications of ai with this application of ai machines are made capable of making decisions for businesses autonomously to achieve the highest return on investment that is roi and big data is another term which often comes across these days and it refers to data that is so large fast or complex that it is very difficult or impossible to process using the traditional methods the act of accessing and storing this huge 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 amount of information for analytics actually has is not a recent concept it has been around for some time but it is gaining more and more traction and importance nowadays because uh, the population is increasing the amount of data we consume and generate every day is inf it's infused uh, what is it, increasing and because of which data big data technologies are becoming more and more and more relevant nowadays data analytics is another uh, branch or another term which we come across when we talk about it systems and it is the science of analyzing raw data to make conclusions about that information and data analytics actually converts this raw data into actionable insights including a range of tools technologies and processes that are used to find trends and solve problems using data data analytics can shape business processes improve decision making and foster business growth so that is it we with this video we are winding up mmpc series i hope you enjoyed it you found the course useful in case you did uh, please let me know your comments through your likes and shares and uh, show your support through uh, sharing about us with your friend circle subscribing if you are interested in uh, uh, you know uh, getting updates from the channel uh, it would be really really appreciated if in case you have any doubts uh, let me know in the comment section below i will do my best to uh, clarify those thank you very much for sticking with me to the end of this video as well as to the end of this course and um, thank you very much uh, all the very best for your examinations thank you